Since not all titrations end up with a pH of 7, in fact only a strong acid, strong base situation would, choosing an acid base indicator is important. An acid base indicator dissociates, and when it dissociates, it can create a colored solution. Once the concentration of the indicator compared to its uh, uh, conjugate base is a factor greater than 10 or so, you'll get the color of the acid indicator will predominate. However, when it's less than a factor of 10, the color of the conjugate base in, uh, will predominate. And so you can use that to choose an appropriate indicator. It's a great thing to do to use an indicator. You get such a visceral and quick uh, indication and very precise oftentimes uh, way of doing a titration. But it would be nice to have a selection of them, right? If it's a strong acid and a strong base, you may want to choose an indicator that is going to change color right around pH 7, and you'll see there are some that do that. However, if you are dealing with a strong base with a weak acid, you might want to choose an indicator that goes a little bit higher, and they go all the way up to 10. If it's a strong acid with a weak base, you might want to use an indicator that is going to go through its equivalent point at a lower pH, and there's some of those as well. So choosing the appropriate indicator is important if that's the way you're going to do a titration.